Welcome back to the Fractal for Beginners series. This week we are going to take a look at modifying layouts. Now I know I've been saying that the layouts are set up really cleverly, etc, etc, etc. So why would you want to change them? Well, simple. To make the layouts work the way that you want them to. You can change how some of the foot switches currently work and you can add functions to some of those unassigned foot switches too. Now for this video, we're going to take a look at how you currently access scenes and what we can do to modify that. I will do the same type of modification across all three units. Let's start with the FM3. Open FM3 Edit and click on FC Edit. Click on Layout 7, Perform. The Perform layout uses 12 switches, which means 4 views on the FM3. Like we talked about before, Views on the FM3 are just sets of three foot switches. The way that the views are laid out is pretty smart, but could still be modified if you like. Now, as you can see, there are no unassigned foot switch functions in the main view. You can choose between scenes one through three via the tap function and also go to the other views via the hold function. However, there is one change you can make to this view that would let you access scenes one through six, but before we make any changes, we should back up our current layouts, right? That way, just in case you can't figure out what went wrong, you can always go back to the prior layout. We back up our layouts by clicking on the Edit drop-down box to the right of Layouts. You can export layouts individually or all layouts at once. I'd suggest both and then move them to a folder that you've created called Fractal Factory Layouts. Now, if you've already made some changes to your layouts, hey, way to go! In that case, you should probably call the folder by some other name, like My Version 1 Layouts. You can change the version number every time you make updates. By now, you've backed up your layouts, so you can edit them with no fear of losing anything. View 1 Foot Switch 1 currently has a tap function that brings you to Scene 1 of the current preset. Let's update that. We'll keep Scene for Category, but let's change Function from Select to Toggle. Primary Scene is 1, Secondary Scene is 2. View 1 Foot Switch 2 has a tap function that brings you to Scene 2 of the current preset. We'll update that too. We'll still keep Scene for Category, but again, let's change Function from Select to Toggle. Primary Scene is 3, Secondary Scene is 4. View 1 Foot Switch 3 has a tap function that brings you to Scene 3 of the current preset. One more time, we'll keep Scene for Category, but we'll change Function from Select to Toggle. Primary Scene is 5, Secondary Scene is 6. With this view, you now have access to scenes 1 through 6 in addition to being able to switch to any of the other views. And you still have 8 foot switch functions that have not been assigned. One option would be to set the tap functions on the second foot switch in view 2 to toggle between scenes 7 and 8. You'd still have 7 foot switch functions left over for comp, chorus, phaser, etc. Remember, there are 14 different categories to choose from. Alright, let's see how this works on the FM3. Okay, we're on the FM3. Let's step through the scenes. Scene 1. Scene 2. Scene 3. Scene 4. Scene 5. And scene six. Now let's just see how fast we can actually jump through these. So that's the first six scenes of any preset available to you in one layout. Not too shabby. Now let's take a look at the FM9. Open FM9 Edit and click on FC Edit. Select Layout 2, Scenes. Currently this layout has tap functions for the first four foot switches, and each foot switch chooses a scene, one through four. Then foot switch five brings you to Layout 3, which is called Scenes More. Let's make changes just like we did to the FM3. Change View 1, Foot Switch 1, Tap Function to Toggle, Primary Scene to 1, and Secondary Scene to 2. Change View 1 Foot Switch 2 Tap Function to Toggle. Change Primary Scene to 3, and change Secondary Scene to 4. 
Change view one foot switch three tap function to toggle. Primary scene is five and secondary scene is six. Change view one foot switch four tap function to toggle. Primary scene is seven and secondary scene is eight. With this updated layout, you now have access to scenes one through eight, freeing up layout three for other functions. Let's see how this works on the FM9. All right, let's see if we can hit all eight scenes without having to change to a different layout. Scene one. Scene two. Scene three. Scene four. Scene five. Scene six. Scene seven. And scene eight. Back to scene one. All on one layout, guys. Well, now let's take a look at how this works on the FC6. Open X Edit and click on FC Edit. Now choose Layout 7, Perform 1. Currently, this layout has tap functions that allow you to select from the first three scenes, go up or down a preset, or switch to Layout 8. Oddly enough, the one hold function for this layout shows you the status of the other hold functions, and there aren't any. We change foot switch one tap function to toggle, primary scene to one, and secondary scene to two. We change foot switch two tap function to toggle, primary scene to three, and secondary scene to four. We changed foot switch three's tap function to toggle, primary scene to five, secondary scene to six. Once again, we doubled the scenes access from three to six in one layout, leaving the other foot switch functions intact. Let's make two more changes to this layout. Right now, foot switch four hold category is unassigned. We'll change category to scene, function to select, scene to seven, and second press equals previous scene to off. And if we take a look at foot switch six's hold function, it too is unassigned. So we changed category to scene, function to select, scene to eight, and second press equals previous scene to off. Now we can access all eight scenes go up or down a preset, and access layout 8, all from one layout. Let's see how this works on the FC6. Scene 1. Scene 2. Scene 3. Scene 4. Scene 5. Scene six. Scene seven. And scene eight. I know, hopefully this is the last time that I mess with your head about layouts. I mean, we have gone through all the different layouts. I've gotten you used to some of them, and now I'm asking you to modify factory layouts. Yo, that can be some scary stuff. But go ahead, give it a try. If you've backed everything up, no worries. Drop me a line and let me know how it's working for you. And if you need some help, I'll be glad to help you. Now next Wednesday, we'll be taking a look at a brand new preset of the week. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next week.